the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon update video. Well my friends, we finally have some new photos from one of the sets of House of the Dragon. Earlier this morning, dozens of photos were released online showing many different characters as they are filming new scenes for House of the Dragon's first season. As you all know, HBO is developing a new show set in George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire universe, only this show is set roughly 170 years before the events of Game of Thrones. For the handful of you that might not know, House of the Dragon will show the downfall of House Targaryen as the family fights each other over the Iron Throne during what is known as the Dance of Dragons. The Dance of the Dragons. A stupid name for a Targaryen civil war where my ancestors danced away my birthright. Before the war, House Targaryen counted 18 dragons. By the end, we had two and nearly as few Targaryens. We would never be as powerful or as feared again. Let me show you some of the new photos that were released earlier today. In this first photo, we see a young Alison Hightower as she is stepping out of a wagon. Now, unless this is a flashback scene, we very well could see this happen in the very first episode of the show. This is the second actress HBO hired to fill in for the role of Queen Alicent. Since this is the actress Emily Carey, we know this will be the younger version of Alison Hightower, so this is either a flashback scene or one of the early episodes in the season. The actress is only 18 years old, which just so happens to be the same age Alison was when she married the king Viserys Targaryen. Now, it's hard to say if this has happened already or not. I would like to think that her wagon would be a lot more fancier if she was already the queen in this scene. It almost looks as if the wagon is made out of metal, although that doesn't necessarily mean anything either. If we look at one of these other photos, we also see Rhaenyra Targaryen in this scene. She will be here with Alicent as well. This is also the younger version of Rhaenyra, because that is actress Millie Alcock. I don't know about all of you, but I am definitely getting the Daenerys vibes as I look at this image of Rhaenyra. Now, what makes this scene even more interesting is the fact that Rhaenyra is here with her dragon, Cyrax. If you look at this photo, you can see Rhaenyra interacting with what will be her dragon, as soon as all the effects are added in later. I'm not exactly sure what is happening in all of these different photos, but it does seem obvious they are on the road as they head for a destination unknown. If we look at some of these wider shots, we can see there are a lot of different characters here with them, as well as several more wagons following behind. All of this looks like it will be happening in the same scene. Most of these photos are of the same thing, only from different angles. Here we have actor Graham McTavish, fully dressed in his Kingsguard armor. If you zoom in on the photo, you can see House Targaryen's sigil on the horse. Now, this actor isn't just any old member of the Kingsguard. He will be Harold Westerling, Lord Commander of the Kingsguard. Another interesting thing about this photo is what's behind him in the wagon. It's obviously full of bones, but if you look closely at some of them, you will see that some of those are blackened with ash, meaning that was food for the dragons. Now, maybe it was food that was brought with them specifically for the dragons, or maybe the dragons went out on their own and did some killing, and now they're cleaning up what's left behind. This photo here of the men in black on their horses is interesting as well. The man on the left looks like actor Gavin Spokes, and he very well could be Lionel Strong, Lord of Harrenhal. Now, depending on what year this is, Lionel Strong could be the Master of Laws, or even the Hand of the King, although I do not see the badge on his uniform. My guess is, this is when Alicent's father, Sir Otto Hightower, is the Hand of the King. I'm thinking this might be around the year of 106 AC, the same year in which Alicent and King Viserys get married, shortly after the death of his first wife, Aima Arryn. I say that because Harold Westerling dies in the year of 112 AC, so we know it's before that because he's the commander of the Kingsguard in one of these photos. I also feel like this is before the year of 109 AC because Lionel Strong does not appear to be the Hand of the King, although this is all speculation. Now, I don't know who the hell this character is right here. He looks like he's some sort of airbender, or he's simply some sort of sheep herder. It looks like he has a dragon glass dagger, but that doesn't seem likely for this era. There are a lot of other soldiers or bannermen in some of these photos, but I can't fully make out which house they're from. 
If you look at the men in red right here, it almost looks like they have the Blackwood sigil on their armor, but I don't think that's likely. Obviously, all of these characters are on the road. My guess is somewhere in central Westeros, but I can't be more specific than that based on the images we have here. It's exciting finally seeing all these characters filming scenes together again. I'm interested in seeing how they will use some of these actors given the age differences from the younger version of Allison and Rhaenyra and the older versions of Allison and Rhaenyra. Like I said before, they might be filming flashback scenes or they will use these actresses in the first half of the first season and then maybe somewhere around episode 5, they might say, several years later, then start showing the older actresses from there on out. Another thing I'm interested in is seeing how some of these actors look with their dragons. Hopefully, the dragons look as amazing as they did in Game of Thrones. Obviously, the dragons will be much larger than Danny's was in the first season, that's for sure. Now, they obviously won't be as big as Drogon was near the end, but they will not be little babies either. Vagar, on the other hand, will be massive. I cannot wait to see that dragon brought to life on the screen. Aemon rose through the clouds, and below him, the monstrous Vagar. Vagar was five times the size of Arax, and a hardened survivor of a hundred battles. Vagar caught him above Shipbreaker Bay. The watchers on the castle walls saw distant blasts of flame and heard a shriek drown out the thunder. I also hope we start to see more photos leak out from the various sets they are filming over the next few months. As long as they are filming scenes outside, we should get more photos during those scenes. So I am definitely excited for that as well. Make sure you subscribe if you want to stay up to date on any and all information regarding Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, and or A Song of Ice and Fire. As always, I want to thank all of you for watching the video. Let me know what you think is happening in some of these photos. Leave your thoughts down below. Have a great day everyone. I will see you again very soon. Bye.